was looking at a very interesting comment. Why cold call? Why learn how to market? Just go ahead and target everybody on Facebook. Well, I'm gonna give you a $40,000 per month and a $50,000 per month reason why you shouldn't do that. Warning, listening to the Hustlers Kung Fu, the business school for hustlers may change your life, which may include making more money, dealing with your shit, stop being a scared little bitch, losing friends, breaking up with your wife, getting hot new young chicks, understanding how money works, learning to sell, learning how to start a business, moving out of your parents' house, becoming a boss, making new friends, moving up in life, and much, much more. Listen to this channel at your own risk. I got two clients, I'm just jumping right into it, that I acquired through YouTube, and neither one of these are clients who both run multi-million dollar companies are on Facebook. Just let that sink in for a minute. Yes, Facebook has billions of users. Yes, there's tons and tons of people who are making money on Facebook. You know who's making the most money on Facebook? GM, 3M, Revlon, big brands. That's who's making the most money on Facebook. Not little, hey, I just work out of my basement brand. Those, the big companies, you know, same folks, they're making the most money on Facebook. The reason they're making the most money on Facebook is because they have these huge infrastructures that allow them to you know spend a hundred thousand a day and make a profit off of it let's just talk about the Facebook targeting thing because that was part of the comment and this was pretty much some of the stuff I got when I put up my videos no eBay no Amazon same thing like why should you even build your own e-commerce site just throw it on eBay just throw it on Amazon they've got all of the traffic that was 2014 I believe ha 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 ha, motherfucking ha ha. Because since then, not a dozen, not a few hundred, but thousands of sellers on Amazon have been hurt financially because of changes that I predicted were coming. Same thing's gonna happen with Facebook. It's already happening with Facebook. Anyone that's making a lot of money with Facebook, talk to them. They'll tell you, it changes. So, my experience to what I call What's the big ticket, high ticket? I just call it business. Clients came from YouTube, and one client does not even know both of them. One is very, very much about their privacy. No Facebook, no Twitter. They just grind and running their business. Uh, the other one has a Facebook page, and he says, "I'm never on it. It's like my wife made it for me. I don't believe in that bullshit." Here's some else. There are many executives, there are many high net worth people who are not on Facebook. Now, why would you say it's like, well, Facebook's everything. Uh, why aren't they on Facebook, okay? Let me give you a scenario here. If you have the money to really live that life, why would you be on Facebook posting pictures to fake that life versus living that life? Your, your, your name is Al and you run a company and your company does 10 million a year and you, you're you really good and you bring home like 1.2 after taxes. You're not on Facebook dicking around arguing with people. Um, you're in your beach house or your hunting lodge or you're in Italy with your family or you're on some excursion or you're at your kid's private school event. You're just not dicking around on Facebook because between running your business and running your life, you simply don't have time. I know that's hard to believe. I know there are people who are shaking their head. Same people who shook their head when I put up no eBay, no Amazon. Hmm, same kind of folks. Facebook can be great, but if you only know how to market on Facebook, you're gonna be in trouble at some point. I, I get a lot of flack, it's like, well, you use YouTube. I am building a media company, and right now, YouTube is the biggest media thing online. I know people go, well, Facebook. Facebook is more fuckery, entertainment, curiosity, gossip type stuff. It's not real hardcore business stuff. Maybe in the groups, uh, you maybe if you're following some people who put that stuff out, it from a conversion standpoint, it just, and I've done both. I used to be real heavy on Facebook before they just started deleting my fucking groups and not telling me why. I made a lot of money on Facebook, but I've always made more money on YouTube and I've always made long money on YouTube because when you put up a video that does well, you and you've got it properly optimized, you can make money. YouTube can change stuff and you're still making money. 
Facebook, your post lives how long? How long does that sucker last? And you gotta keep posting. Let's talk about marketing. And I'm gonna you know, give myself an example. I would not want to do this, but if I had to go take a job, uh, let's say pest control, no, carpet cleaning. I would be a motherfucker on the phone. I would get a lot of business. I was like, hey, give me a sales job. I could do that. And I would do two things. I would work on the internet stuff, but I would also cold call because the cold calling is faster. I would figure out, you know, whatever they do in the carpet business to get traffic, and I would do it to the power of 20. Then I would be building my own landing page because I'm the salesperson this way I want to be able to track my business and I talk to the company owner and say look I want to try some I'll spend my own money okay don't worry about it and I'll create the sales page blah 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 carpet cleaning optimize and get a bunch of traffic get a bunch of leads and then I would go out and hire someone even though quote I'm a salesperson I'll make sure I have a really good commission structure and I get paid every week every two weeks and I'll go out and hire a team and I would just be that team would go get leads then I would still be doing the online thing because I, as a pure internet, as a pure digital citizen at times, I've made all of my income from online and I've made all my income from inbound marketing, which is challenging. I would still build that funnel, but see, to build that funnel is gonna take three months to two years. If you're just doing all this Facebook stuff, someone who has some seasoning about business is going to eat your lunch. They're gonna kick your ass because you're learning and trying to do, they've learned and have done and they're doing it times 20. I, I see those comments and I, I will share some other stuff with you. And you know, get ready if you are a person that hasn't done much in life to be have your feelings hurt. I live in a really wealthy neighborhood and there's this thing called nextdoor.com. I, you know, just for kicks, I'll see posts and I'll go look for this person on Facebook and I'll find out that they are often are on Facebook and there's no activity nothing a few pictures that's it you see it over and over and over again and the reason is these people have enough money to live that life so they don't have to fake that life uh, you know you'll see it in next door because I mean I have more confidence in the stuff I see in next door because people are using their real names and their real addresses are there. I just, I've seen this over and over again. Get those people who can afford to pay you 10,000 per month, 20,000 per month, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 per month. You're not gonna find them on Facebook. You're just not. Because of the way that their income allows them to live they have no reason to really be on Facebook. Like, okay, when I have nothing to do, go back 2012-ish. In the beginning, I tried to market on Facebook. I was very unsuccessful because I didn't know what I was doing. But I noticed that when I had a lot of time and this was things were really weird clicking, uh, the, the shows were giving me a lot of traffic. I was on Facebook all day, fighting with people, fucking around with people. Really, it was just, hey, this is fun. I also had two Facebook groups to run, but I've noticed this year and last year, as I'm building these new companies, I just don't have the time. You know, I'm on there, but really, I'm on there 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'm out. And that's throughout the whole day, collectively, not an hour at a time. And part of it is, I got so much stuff to do that being on Facebook is just not a good use of my time. I'll give you an example of a big company, HubSpot, that sells products to salespeople in companies, and they get most of their high-end customers from meetups, not the internet. There is this fallacy that everything can be done on the internet. I think at some point that's gonna be true, but we're not there yet. I think you can make a lot of money selling low end, low risk, low trust products, physical products. But when it comes into high end consulting, you're gonna have to come a little differently. You're gonna have to have a better pedigree. You're gonna probably have to hop on the plane. That's just the reality of it. And Facebook marketing, once again, it's very, very powerful, but it depends on what game that you're playing. And one of the things that I'm doing 
in the course cold calling, it will not just be about getting on the phone. If you're a freelancer, you need to learn how to cold call. If you're a freelancer and you have that, well, I have a lot of work, I have no work syndrome, you have a sales process problem. And the problem is you don't have a sales process. You don't have a marketing process, you don't have a cold calling process. And that's why, you know, it's up and down and I'll hear this, I don't want to get big. I just want to keep it me. I want to be under the radar and you will consistently struggle and not reach your full business potential. And I don't want to hear no one wants, I like, I don't want to reach my full business potential. Most of the reasons that people are doing this under the radar stuff is they don't want to pay taxes, which I fully understand. And there's a way to grow your company and still not pay a lot in taxes. So you don't have to do that under the radar stuff. I, when I was in the storage auction business, a lot of cash, a lot of direct sales, one-to-one -one sales, a lot of Craigslist sales. It's a totally different ball game. If you know that's your thing, that you're going to go on Facebook and do this targeting, and I, you're going to sell an info product. Knock yourself out. I know people who do this. I know that a lot of people are struggling. I know that every time Facebook does a algorithm change it fucks up a lot of people's money. Same thing with Google and AdWords, same thing with YouTube. I got hit hard on my YouTube channel because so many of the changes, you know, I use profanity quite a bit. I send a lot of traffic off the platform. It took me six months to figure out a way for me to do what I wanted to do. And part of it is I'm gonna give YouTube what it wants sometimes. Because what is my goal? Is my goal to give YouTube what it wants? Or is my goal to make money? And my goal is to make money. If there's a direct conflict between what I want and what YouTube wants, well, what I want is gonna take precedent and I'll just take the hit. You will see so many different things on this channel now. So many things that I'm gonna be doing that are um, esoteric. And all of it is marketing, because one of the things that many people like to do is watch what I do without a firm understanding of why I'm doing it. You know, I'll see people like, hey, I'm gonna do a YouTube channel, I'm gonna put it back. So there's a methodology, there's a strategy to everything I do. And if your end goal is not the same as mine, plus there's a lot of stuff under the hood you don't know about, then you're probably not gonna get any good results. I think you can reverse engineer some stuff online, but you may not be able to reverse engineer everything. Cause like I said, I'm building a media company. It's a very, very different ball game that I'm working on right now. And it's just different. So the marketing is gonna be different, um, how I deploy things. And I'm sharing with you that, yes, learn how to do Facebook marketing. Take a course. I have none because I don't do Facebook marketing right now. I will probably start that sometime this year and, and do it and see how it works for you. But also learn how to do Google AdWords and also learn how to do YouTube marketing and also learn how to do Instagram marketing because you, you need to have at least two to three things you know how to do. I can do Google AdWords. I can do YouTube marketing. I can do uh, cold calling. You, you need to have two to three really strong skill sets, not just one, because there are people here on YouTube who are really good on YouTube and they've lost anywhere from 75% to 95% of their income literally overnight. It's gonna take minimum three months of concentrated effort up to a year to learn a new marketing skill because you gotta learn it then you gotta put it out. Then you gotta put it out, then you gotta get the feedback, and then you gotta fix what you did wrong, learn from that, put that in your toolbox. That's the system of testing and doing. That's not gonna happen overnight. I know that, you know, Tim, your friendly internet guru, has told you that it can happen, but Tim wants your fucking money so he can go lay on the beach and do more infomercials to get more suckers like you to keep doing that because one of the things that I'm gonna do, and you, you wanna go below and subscribe to all the channels, is I'm gonna do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I think it's gonna be B-School for Hustlers because 
as I build out, I'll show you the office, hiring process and stuff like that to really give you a realistic view of what it takes because all of these companies who are doing really well online have teams. And this is something that a lot of YouTubers have discovered to be necessary because the bigger channels, the stronger channels, they have teams. If you go back to Derek Comedy, which is still on YouTube, that's where Donald Glover he used to write those skits. There was three of them and the camera guy. And if you just look over and over again and you look at the people who are one person YouTube channels that are under, that are over 20, you're seeing a lot of shakeout right now. You're seeing um, many people struggle because the inventory of video is so massive now that YouTube has to have a filtering system. And like I said, you got to play their game to be in that filtering system or you got to come up with your own strategy that is self-sustaining. And that's part of marketing stuff. But just throwing this out there, I know Facebook is it and everyone's like, you know, but once again, everyone's not going to sell information products. At some point, these affinity, find a group, sell them a t-shirt, uh, that shit's going to implode. I mean, if you just take the time to build a real business that serves real people, and it's gonna be a little slower, you're not gonna have that, boo wee, I found the right ad set and I make a million dollars a month. It happens, it happens, but that shit's not sustainable. And that's the problem. But if you're building a business, because I have another client and we're having this discussion, right now we're in a, a even though it's not a startup, we're in a startup mode and literally, a hundred and twenty to a hundred and forty thousand dollars per month of new income in less than six weeks but see there was already some there this this was not this let me be clear this was not from zero to no 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 client already does millions of dollars a year and we're you know it's easier to scale like that when you're already making money you know your first zero to 100 100k that's hard so let's not get it twisted and let's not go, oh no, they did this in six weeks. No, no, no. Try 12 years, 12 years. It took the client to learn all this stuff and they got to a point where they got stuck and then you know we're gonna grow again. But startup mode, doing way more, grinding hard and you're seeing the growth. But once again, now none of this is happening with Facebook. Not yet, that's gonna be part of the game plan. But one of the things I have learned is, do this, get it done, do this, get it done, versus do all of the stuff at the same time and just dilute effort and resources and not come up with really good results. And I'll find someone, I, I think I have someone in mind, I'm not sure who I'm gonna hire to help with this. But yeah, I'm hiring someone. I'm not gonna do it myself, nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I'll learn. I'll take a class where I have enough knowledge to speak intelligently and also enough knowledge to know if I'm like getting scammed or something. But I'm not going to do it myself because one of the things about marketing is you've got to watch it. You've got to watch it. You've got to look at the data. You've got to pour over the numbers. And that's not sexy and that's not fun for most people, but it is absolutely mandatory for the growth and success of your business. And that's, a lot of people are not talking about that. So that's my response to, why not just Facebook? That is dangerous. That is so dangerous. Cameron's Law, at some point, all third party platforms behave the same. You do that if you want to. Hey, this is Glenn Cameron. I got a deal for you. I got a real good deal for you. Go below the video and check out that 10 courses for 200 bucks. You need either 10 courses, any courses at Hustlers Kung Fu, lifeskills.com, or at the Hustlers Kung Fu bookstore. You can get a combination of books, courses, all for 200 bucks. And you also get $250 coupon to be used at B School for Hustlers or Mac Daddy Media. There will be other courses coming very soon for that. Below the video, first link, 
grab it and this is how it works once you pay then forge your list of books or courses you want and it's forward to my assistant emails below and then they will hook you up set up the logins and everything and send it to you super simple super easy uh, give it a little extra time on the weekends if you buy during the weekends people do take days off but uh, Monday through Friday should be pretty quick so with that I will see you in another video because I know you're gonna subscribe to this channel because no one is giving it to you like I am.